Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay. All right, there goes the screen, and you never know if you connect, man. You never, you never did do it the right. All right, you see your screen now. Your screen. Yeah. What, 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 what size screen laptop do you have there, man? Uh, it's a but the screen resolution, small, man. Yeah, they are the max. They are sixteen hundred by nine hundred. This a small blombi. Zaga zaga zaga. Whoa! It can't max out no more. May I try a look? <laughs> yeah. All right. The 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 bottom. The oh man. Let me tell you. Um, this can't go up more up on the screen. You know, up up at the top. But it, when they push it up, it come back down. <laughs> And that is what I can't understand with this thing here. The screen is too big. The resolution is too big. Let me maybe I have to reset this program. Okay. Alright, but so far, you know, you know, this is what the mask look like here and so on and so on. So what the dude is looking at now? What is this problem here? Oh, this one here, sir? I want to call up the function, but what's wrong with the type of file code in it? Well, it's like file code in it, and it's like it's, it's on the, by a new um, computer I put on it. So, I shall also, you know, what computer? Yeah. Put it back. What computer am I put on it? The computer for the ABS, the ABS system. Oh. All right, all right, wait, wait, wait. Three. Well, that have to go be a program and probably encoded. Yeah, let me look at the file codes. All right, so where is it now? Um, uh, there goes the file course for the DS at the bottom. Yeah. It said the steering angle sensor identification. Yeah. The, the, well, you have to you have to code the DSC because it sends steering angle sensor yeah. um, position to it. It's not coded to the vehicle order. Maybe you have to code it. Well, the program can do it. You know, the ISTA P can do it. All right. First of all, you need to create a snapshot of these um, these codes and then save them in a document somewhere. And next time when you're going through programming, all right. Let me see if I can help you solve this problem. End of belt tension not carried out. All right. All right. There's only three codes. Of DDA does not fulfill two work requests. All right. A B steering angle sensor identification. All right. It's not seeing the steering angle sensor. All right. So what we do now, if you want to click on a do you, all right, let me show you something here. You can fix this thing with ease. You just click on that. Yeah. But, but I can't set the bottom of the screen. You Can you see at the bottom of the screen? No, I can't see. All right, I have to shut the program down and restart the laptop. And hopefully I change the resolution and so on. The resolution needs to be increased of the laptop that you have. It's a 17-inch yeah. screen, man. Yeah, 17. Wow. 17 inch. Mm, let me see now. All right, I want to click on calculated plan. The button is right here to the end, but I need you to see it. So, yeah, okay. shit. Because I calculated test plan show you how to repair it, you know, and what to check and so on, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, oh man. All right, I have to. Let me, let me, I have to close this down, buddy. Um, I have to close this down, all right? Because I, I, I have to. Hmm? Resolution is weak. I don't, I mean, how to set this resolution? Let me go in settings here. Let me see if. Schumacher? Schumacher? 
Hello? Uh, yeah. Chris? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is the entire VIN number right here. See that? Just count the set. Well, the 17 did it. You have to count it. 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it stops at the 8. It stops at 8, right. Yeah, so you have to just count it from the left all the way from the W until you get right. 17 and, and so on and so forth. So all of these all of these here at the end is the, is the, is the year 2015, right. 0, 9 is September, right. and 26. You see that? That's what those numbers mean. And well, what the um what the one and the two and the five and well it's twelve is a time. Or maybe it's a time, twelve fifty eight and the seconds at the end. That's what it means. Alright, okay. this data right here is captured for the people at BMW, the Puma people who look at what the technicians at the dealerships is doing. Cause it's like it's that system that cuts out cheating, you know? So it's it's a background transfer service. No, well, yours is not sending anything to them because you're not connected to their network. But this right, right. this faster data stuff is usually enabled in this program. I try to disable it on my system, but it makes the system run even slower. So maybe I'm not changing up the right files and so on. Um, let me close on the program, man, because I need to find a way, OP. Basically, um, take care of the resolution here. Let me see if I can. This is resolution. The resolution is maxed out. There's I can't I can't I don't know how to increase this one. I mean. No 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 the resolution for this you know is higher than the program really. This one can be increased to about. It can be increased to a lot more because mine is roughly. Let me check my resolution and show you what mine is. My resolution is um is 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 is, is way way more than that. You see, yeah, my one is nineteen twenty by ten eighty, but my one is connected to my thirty two inch LCD through HDMI cable. So I don't know if somebody had connected yours to a HDMI and or something and it didn't. It only, you see, if you connect it to a bigger screen, it will the resolution will increase because the software driver inside senses that there's a HDMI cable plugged to it, and then it now increase the resolution for the bigger screen and so on, and so on. So if you want to connect it to a bigger screen, you can go ahead and try it out. I don't know, but the program usually, you know, usually we have to lower the taskbar here by going properties and then click auto ID. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then we can see the bottom of the um the bottom button on the on the on the, on the screen on the software mask. So I don't know. Well, let me show you how I connect it. Let me try the programming. Well, let me what I want. Oh shit! All right, let me run this part here and let me see if we um. Let me um. This is it right here. See if we're gonna run. If we're gonna click a Rolls Royce, a BMW, a Mini, you click on. Um, this you have a Mini, right? No, you said you want a Mini. You have a Mini. Yeah, but I'm just saying, when you're going to do the Mini, you just click on the Mini brand right here, okay? Okay. All right, since it's BMW, we're going to click on the BMW brand right there. And let it run and, and, and start up and so on. Um, man, I'm freaking hungry now. All right. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, no, expert mode. No, I mean it's enabled. All right. It is ex enabled. All right. Create session. You just click create session. And then, all right. You saw this. You saw this one now within the screen? Right. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd have to find out the reason why that the other one, the Easter, 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 Easter D, is basically covering us. So you click continue here. It's gonna read out. It's gonna create. Look for the icon MAC address. And there it goes. Whenever you see under status green, that means it's available. So you just click connect. If you look at the bottom of the screen, do you see the dots that say free? And all right. So whenever you see any one of these dots, it means that the system is connected. That means all right. Let's say for instance. You run the diagnosis side first, right? And then yeah. soon after the program is closed, you run Easter P, and then you see the, the connected yellow dot under status. All you got to do, it simply means that it's reserved it for the Easter D session, and it didn't, the session didn't probably close properly. But all you have to do, just unplug the icon from the car, okay? Yeah. And remove the voltage from the icon for about 30 seconds, then plug it back to it, and then run over again. Or you probably could refresh the page right here like this. And it picks it up, you know what I mean? When it when whenever the whenever the IP address sets up in the computer, yeah. you just you know it usually take about twenty seconds or so to 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 um or thirty seconds to set back the IP. Then you just click refresh and refresh it, and it should look for the interface, and it will find. And once it's green, it's able to be clicked. Right. All right. So if the, if you also see a red dot, I say icon cannot be used. It simply means maybe the firmware in it needs to be updated. You know what I mean? All right, but so far your your icon is it seems to be updated and so on. Well, on this side now it's gonna read out the vehicle identification number and um. I'm gonna show you how to use some stuff here. I'm gonna show you how to use expert mode to separate one single module to do it. Okay, like the DSC if you wanna program and code it and so on. All right, you said the the, the DSC. What did you get? You get it from another car or you, or, or, or a person purchased it from another dealer? Oh, they, oh, how long ago that what happened? Huh? E39 is what? Uh, five, 3 series? The 528, no, 5 Oh, 5 series, yeah, yeah, sorry. Well, I'm slowing on my, I'm slow. Alright, good. Alright, so. On older cars, it will come up with that box there, but on newer cars, it will it will not show that box where you select the chassis. And all the cars they you know that option will come up because all right. You said where control mode is replaced. Yes. All right, boom. Okay, we click yes and then we'll go continue. It's gonna go through it little by little and you know it's gonna give you a list of control modules that you should select of what you replace and then you click it and you click replacement and then Easter P will program and code it and so on. Well I am going to see the measures plan created for it first and then I will show you how to remove other modules from the measures plan and then now you create a measures plan only for the dynamic stability control module and then we go forward with it and so on because we do not need to update the whole car and so on so we just program and update only that module and so on but there's file codes in it just the same you know what I mean but usually they have put a function now in Easter P where you basically um uses the there's a there's a delete file code function inside of Easter P. So it will probably you know Yes, it will delete the file code and then you know and, and so on and so forth. So you, you like it man, it's useful. This is what the dealer have and you have the original program. It's not they, they don't clone these programs. These programs are hard to clone. It's just a license file we get to activate it for ourselves when we purchase it from our source in Europe, and that is it. That's all there is to it, the license file. And, um, yeah. I already, said, I already sent a unit in Jamaica to get it, so but I don't know I can't hear any word from my cousin. So you own a garage up there? No, 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 no. I work for transit, but I used, as I said, I have a couple of friends that I used to you know, work on the cars. Yeah. And um, mostly like, you know, except BMW and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, it's not, it's not on really a large scale, uh, one or two cars, actually. Okay. But it's mostly, fr mostly friends. Yeah.
Oh, so what are you going to do? Talk to them about the program or they know you already have it? Look on the screen now. You see the modules that we have to select now, the DSC? Right, right. The DSC, DSC, yeah. yeah, so we just select that only and then we click uh, so that it added a part of the measures plan. Right. Okay, the measures plan is done. So let us determine. Let us go here in control unit 3. Right. To see. All right, you see it put it alone as a part of the measures plan. Okay, see that in yellow? All right, usually with other modules on the car, let's say, for instance, we're going to remove this from the measures plan. We click on it, and then we click. Let's say, for instance, we're going to remove them, remove it from the measures plan. We don't want it, all right? We just go in immediate measures, and we click hide all actions for the ECU, and that's it. You just, you, you just look at the progress bar at the bottom, and that's it, okay? And then you close, and then it's removed. So right now, we're going to do it. We're going to add it back to the measures plan by itself, and we're going to go forward with it, okay? Right. Click on it again, and then now we go on to um, uh, re replacement follow-up, and that's it. And then we click close, and then now we determine measures plan for it by clicking the measures plan button at the bottom right. You see that? Okay, it's going to now calculate the measures plan for the DSC and then it's going to, it's going to, if it's going to give us a kind of a, a report of what, what it's going to be doing, you know what I mean? So let us go through it slowly and read it carefully. Um, it tells you the car, it tells you the odometer in it is, you know, what's the mileage on the car right now? Is it 209,000? Oh, MPH? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, what they listed here, you see the mileage here for the other meter on the program right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is probably 209 and 540 kilometer. But I would like to check this thing in Google first. Let me see if I, um, let, let me see if I can. Oh, it's in kilometers, okay. Probably, yeah. oh, so probably you change it to mileage for our, our mileage. Yeah, let me, I'm opening my calculator here. Let me, let me see if I can, um. Yeah. Standards, uh, weight, travel length, volume length, velocity, R speed, net distance. Yeah, length would be centimeters, um, kilometers to mile. All right, let me punch in the number here. Um, it's 209. And how much you said the mileage was on the car? The mileage on the car, 130195. 130915? One, no, 195. Oh, 130195. Okay, let me tell you what I got here. Yes. I got 130202 for miles. You got it? Uh, yeah, that's what I... Yeah, that's what I got here. That's what I have. So it's really kilometer they put here. So what I did with the calculator is convert, convert, change it to length. And then put in the kilometer 209,540 for kilometers and it gave me it in miles. So you like I say, what, what, what was your number for miles? 130,195. Okay, this one is 130,202. Just a little bit, probably about five something miles over. You know what I mean? All right, so 
All right, all right. You understand our right, VIN numbers here. All right, you see this report right here? We can print it. Let me see if I can send a print command. Let me see if I can print measures plan. Let me see if I can set up a print command. Maybe it give me an option to save it in an XPS document like, like it's set up on mine. Or if not, I have to set up printers in order to do that. But let me go to printers first and set it up because it's clear. All right, this is, this is the printer right here. I have to open devices right there. And uh, what I got to do now to make this thing go to an XPS document. You see, this is the printer right here. You see this one that is checked by default in green? Right. Yeah, the document is being queued there, but you don't connect to a printer. So what we want, we want that we want that uh, measures plan report in the XPS document where we can read it in human form. So what we're going to do, right click on that. And then we're going to make it default printer. And then we check it back if it tick. All right, good. That's what it is. And then let's minimize this thing right here. Let me minimize that. All right, we're going to click now on the print icon at the top of Easter P, and then we go like that. We're going to print the measures plan, and then we just click OK. It's going to come up with another box. Good for me to type the file name. So it's going to be saving in my documents folder. So we're going to type this one, BMW E39 um, DSC um, replacement um, uh, measures plan. You know what I mean? measures plan so the reason why i do it you know because i keep record of people when i do jobs for them to, sh to show them that well we create a measures plan for this model we're gonna go execute it and the vin number is stored on it because the vin number identifies their car and so on and the other meter on it and so on and so forth so basically put now we're gonna just go through with it and um first of all it tells you what it's gonna do it's going to it's gonna encoding and it's going to clear the file code memory. It's going to read also the file code memory after it's finished all of that. And it's also going to write this, the car and key memory settings to, back to the module. And it's also going to do what you call additional actions. It's going to call it a replacement follow-up, okay? Okay, good. So accept measures plan. It's going to accept it and it's going to execute it. And let me see how long it took to actually do its thing to it and i just hope it's a model that you purchase from the dealer and then you know the program can deal with it properly and um it comes out with a green tick and it and it deals with nice okay so we just wait and have a little patience let it do its thing so what it's gonna do is extending it's executing the measures plan it's gonna come up it's gonna come up with a little timing Right at the bottom, we said time remaining, probably five minutes, probably. It's going to take less than that, uh, or probably 10 minutes. I don't know how long it's going to take, but let's just see what's happening, okay? Yeah. Oh, the car is, the engine is running? Yeah. Okay, so, well, the, okay, you have a battery charger on it? Charger, um, using it. Okay, oh, but you have the engine running. Okay, no problem. All right, look, do you have to have a battery charger now, you know? Yeah. Do you have a battery charger? Yeah, yeah, I have a battery charger. All right, turn off the car and put the battery charger on it. Use a multimeter to measure the voltage across to make sure that it's 13, it has to be 13 volts and, and over. You're not supposed to drop below 13 volts. Yeah, just get the battery charger, okay? Yeah, yeah, let me get the charger. Yeah, turn off the car. First, get the charger, bring it near to the car, turn off the car, then put the charger on it. That is how you do it, alright? Yeah, alright. Yeah, don't put the charger on it while the car is running. No, 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 no. Okay, alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Alright, turn off the ignition key with the room. Turn off the ignition key. Yeah, turn off the ignition key. Yeah, so that terminal 15 is off. Right. Yeah, just wait. Just wait first. It's going to go through with with, it, with the measures plan. When it goes through that stage, it's going to come back up with another screen and say turn on back the key. But just wait until it comes up back with that, okay? Okay, okay. All right. Very good, very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right, look at the screen now. Okay, okay. Yeah, it said turn on back terminal 15. It's just the. Yeah. Okay, the voltage is perfect. Wait 15 seconds. Oh, oh, all right. Take some of the juice off the battery. Take some. All right. Oh, it dropped below 15 now. All right, wait, 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 wait. Read this first. It says here, fault memory must be deleted again for fault handling. Delete the fault memory again. It said, well, it says steering angle sensor identification and the end of belt test not carried out and so on. And activation, electric fund in the DME, and um, another said, said, drive it lamp right, drive it lamp left, whatever. All right, let us delete the fault code here. Let's click yes. Um, well, let me click it. I think I click it. Okay. Yeah. Let it delete it. Let it delete all three of them. You remember what I told you though, right? right. Yeah, yeah. As a built-in function that delete fault codes, entries, and so on. It need to get rid of those out the way and then it move forward. Um, all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. wait, 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 wait. He said, file codes are still present. He said, for handling, um, close each the P and switch the diagnosis. Work through the existing files there and so on. He said, the steering angle sensor identification. Okay, so roughly. All right, let's press OK. Let it. File code entries are still present. For fault handling, close each the P. Uh oh. The voltage drops. Increase the voltage again. Yeah, for file code entries, I still wait for yeah. All right, you see what it says up here? Yeah, so we have to work through that. We have to create a, um, a test module for it, a test plan, and then work through that and then deal with it. All right, just see if we can get the voltage back up there. Let me just yeah, close yeah. off this. Yeah. All right, file codes are there and um, It seemed like it coded. Yeah. yeah, treat it as a replacement follow up and then it coded. It. And all of these, the green tick right here, the legend say action successful. You see that? Right, yeah, so, yeah. so the, is, the model is basically coded. So, what we got to do now is to work through the fault memory and delete them and so on. And then, well, the test procedures will tell us what to do in order to set by the angle sensor and so on. All right. All right, so well, let it. It's it's going back to the normal thing when it just started. It's identifying fitted control model, so let it just go through that and just finish up, and then we just close it down and open it study. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, all right. This is the this is the final report. We gotta save this report also. Let us read what it what it has accomplished. Let me see what it has accomplished here. Yeah. Um. All right, it say it coded, it's successful, the DSC, all right? Yeah. And it also, it tried to clear the fault memory with a successful tick, but warning, it says warning, which is which which is the fault code that it's saying about the steering angle sensor, you know what I mean? Steering angle, the steering angle read, all right, it can't read the, 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 the measurement from a steering angle. So maybe the steering angle sensor has to be replaced in the car and recalibrated, I don't know. Um, 
All right, he said it. Read the car key, car and key memory settings. Successful, okay, and so on and so forth. That is successful. And he said replacement follow up successful. And the vehicle order alignment is successful. And all right, good. You are good as far as this is concerned. So this is our problem here. Steering angle sensor. Okay. So maybe they need to replace that one, or we can look for the file code entries for it. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. Let me t let me save this right here. Let me save this right here. Let me call it. Let us call it um right click that. No, let me let me um let, final report. Measures plan final report. Let me call it measures plan final report. Measures plan. Report. Okay. All right. So, okay. That is basically that. So let us add that. So, all right. We, we, we will gonna, we're gonna end the session now. Okay. All right. All right. Look at this now. Yeah. You need to see this thing right here. All right. So, you know, let me show you some stuff that you can have some edification the way you ought to have it. Um, Usually, the Diagbus channel is the PT can. Okay. It's using. So, it's basically doing it through the, the, the PT can and the combi. The combi is the central gateway and so on. It's connected to the PT can and so on. That's what they refer to as the Diagbus channel and so on. Um, okay. Usually, if you see some other channel here other than Diagnosis Bus, you probably would have a problem um, coding the module because I have a problem with the E60 that I'm working on right now. The DME was programmed, but it was programmed okay, but it was not coded okay because the Diagbus channel was the CD DVD channel, you know what I mean? And that usually have alignment with the most bus, where those entertainment units are on those bus and so on and so forth. So therefore, um let me wait a minute. It says I wanna yeah, yeah, yeah. Let this, yeah, let it. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna go away. You can, you can, you can take out the booster off of it. No, no big deal for me. All right. So this is the um. He said refile code memory, and this is this is this is what we have here. We can save a copy of this right here, the screenshot of it. So you can have it to show the owner. You can have it for your file system, so you can know how to. You know what I mean? Look through it. It's called what we call it now. Action list. Final report. Action list. Report. Let's just call it BMW. E39 final report action list and then we'll just save it as as that okay all right we can now end the session let us end the session right here and the session will be ended and um we 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 have to um we have to repair the steering angle issue all right, let us, I click in that area to highlight it blue. It should disappear within a couple of seconds. Yeah, that means the icon now is not on reserve, okay? We can click this now and um, we can close the application, shut it down.